Welcome to this week's Dream Car Judging video here at BOTB. We'd now like to hand over to today's lawyer from Onside Law who'll oversee the proceedings. My name's Gareth Atkins from Onside Law and I'll be overseeing the judging this morning. Firstly, I can confirm that the competition data has already been sent to the auditing company Azets. I would now like today's judges to introduce themselves and using the secure link provided, mark on the screen where they think the centre of the ball should be. The group will then come to a final panel decision. Good morning, my name is Matt Cannon. I'm a senior counter referee and footballer. I'm Nigel Hicks. I've been the Supply League match visual for the best part of 30 years and I'm an experienced football administrator. My name is Chloe Morgan and I'm goalkeeper for Crystal Palace Women. Good morning, my name is Alain Goma. I'm an ex-professional football player. I've played for Paris Saint-Germain, Newcastle and Fulham. Hi, my name's Rene Hector and I play football for Watford FC Women and I'm a coach for Tottenham Hotspur Foundation. Hi, my name is Kieran Fitzgibbon. I've played football for more than 30 years and I'm now a senior county referee. Hi, my name's Matthew Ray. I've affiliated in multiple counties across England and have refereed from grassroots through to professional academies. Good morning, my name is Leo Donnellan. I'm an ex-professional football player, having been with Chelsea, Fulham and Leighton Orient. Good morning, my name's Hugh Gilroy. I'm a referee, a mentor, tutor and observer. Hi, my name is Ari Mendonca. I've been involved in football for over 30 years, first as a player and then as a referee. Judges, please now come to a final panel decision. For your reference, the larger white cross is the calculated average of the 10 individual selections. Thank you very much, Gareth. Uh, good morning, everybody. Morning, good morning. 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 So we have, we have two players in shot. The player in, in the background in red and black is, is, is in motion. He's running towards uh, uh, the play, I believe, um, and he's looking up to the ball. And we have a player in the air with his knee up and his arms out which to me is just about to pull back and, and head the ball. Uh, and I would add that the ball is in the foreground. He's looking up towards the centre of the ball. Um, we've obviously got Chloe that's quite a way um, magnified out here. Um, so before I draw the lines, Chloe, can I come to you and ask you uh, what your thoughts and, and how you saw this photo, please? Yeah, um, I saw it quite similarly to, to yourself that the, the player in white was going to go through the ball and that the ball was falling quite steeply in the foreground. Um, I think from my perspective, it didn't look like the ball was, um, there was an immediate impact on on uh, from, from the header. Um, so it was a lot further um, away from him than, than, than the other crosses. Um, I think I also took from the, the red and black player that the it, the ball was sort of quite central to, to his head, but slightly just over to, to the left and a lot steeper. And there was a lot of whites underneath the, um, the the player's eyes that indicated to me that it was that it was quite steeply dropping dropping down. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. I mean, I've come to you first because because you're so um, distant from uh, the rest of the choices. Uh, I wanted your explanation prior to drawing some lines, which will exclude yours. Um, just so you know. I'll draw up first from these two eyes here. We, and as you said, that we can see whites underneath them and whites either side of the pupils. So if I draw up through Alan's at the bottom there and then across to me, I'm just outside on the right-hand side here. Um, and then I'll draw some other lines up from this player in white. Again, we've got two good eyes. That's to Alan at the lowest there and just through... Matthews and he's in line with the uh, four of us so I'll, I'll remove Chloe's um, to move the average into the center of this and as you see if I put the the, uh, the magnifier over the top of this this calculated average we've got Alain's mine and Kieran's popping out the side so Alain, I'll come to you next yours is magnified there and I'll put the highlighter over it 
Uh, there we are. How did you see this? Uh... Yeah, uh, thank you, Matt. Yeah, no, as you mentioned, I think the ball is in the foreground. Uh, the player on the right, I think, is, you know, he's got his knee up. I think he's still on his way up. Uh, he's attacking the ball. Um, and I think he's going to go for, uh, yeah, pro probably a power header. Um, the, you know, I thought he was looking up, uh, not as deep as most of you, uh, but just, uh, you know, a bit below, uh, I would say. Um, and uh, I cross reference with the player in uh, uh, red and black who's looking across on the left uh, quite steeply. And this is where I, I thought the center of the ball was. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. And Kieran, I'll come to you next. Uh, there's yours magnified. You're just <coughs> above uh, Alan's in the same sort of uh, trajectory up from the, uh, the red, and, red and black players' vision. Um, how did you see what was hey. happening? Yes, thanks, Matt. Um, yeah, I'm very similar to Alan. I think the, the player in white is up, his, his knees up ready. He's preparing himself to power through the header. Um, if you could put the, the circle above the where the cross is, if you wouldn't mind, the white cross as it is at the moment. To my mind, if he if the ball was there, he may not be powering through the mm -hmm. header. I, I think the ball is slightly low, which is why I placed mine a little bit lower. Remember, I think he's looking underneath the ball at the ball, so... The centre of the ball, I think, would be a little bit lower for him to be able to power through and head the ball, and that's why I placed mine a bit lower. Okay, fine. Okay. Um, thank you for that. Um, I'll come to you now, Leo. You're just uh, above me on the line of the trajectory from the, the, um, the white player's um, eyes, uh, uh, and there you are, magnified. H how did you see this? Hi, Matt. Yeah, Hi. no, I think the player in white, for me, both his eyes, he was just looking steeper. Yeah. So just with his eye line, um, he obviously is looking higher up. Uh, I think if you look at his body shape, his, his two arms are up. He's unopposed. He's, he's got a free header uh, at the ball. Um, yeah. But for me, he was just looking more steeply with his eyes. Yeah, I, I, I obviously agree with you. I'm just below you. And I think that um, obviously there is there will need to be some discussion about the way the ball's coming in, because I think it, uh, if I'm wrong, if I'm right, that Alain and Kieran think the ball's coming in a bit flatter, so the player's meeting it. But it could also be coming down where I think, and he's not quite at the top of his jump, so he's coming up to meet the ball, in, in my view. But Matthew, uh, you're just here highlighted above uh, Leo's. Um, what were your thoughts on this? Yeah, as, as you say, Matt, I, I do think he's still on his way up. His, his, his hands are still out if he was coming forward for that header his, his hands would be back so I, I think he's still gonna reach a little bit higher in his jump um and like leo said i, I think he's looking that bit uh steeper uh i think the ball's dropping in from that steep angle so uh, that's that's why i've placed it there yeah thank you very much and hugh you're just here um just above uh, matthews and ever so slightly to the left and i'll put the highlighter over yours um what do you think was happening? Yeah, I mean, I agree. I don't think he's quite at the top of his jump yet. Um, and I think, for me, his eyes were looking up quite steeply. Um, but yeah, I felt he, he was going to meet it. I wasn't sure whether that was power through or given that his legs are slightly different heights, whether he was starting to twist slightly. Um, but yeah, for me, he's definitely looking up above him and then playing red and black was looking over to the right. So that was my take. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's twisting. He's got this little furrow in his, uh, his neck as well um, on one side, which would suggest that he, he possibly is readjusting. Um, so thank you. Um, Ari, you're just here. You're just uh, to the left of Hugh and just above the calculated average. And I'll highlight yours. How, how have you seen um, what was happening with the uh, photo? Yeah, similar, similar as, 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 as um, um, huh, where is the, Sim so, sorry, similar as Matthew and, uh, and you, uh, to be honest, uh, I felt that the player is, is, is on a pose, um, he looks fairly comfortable with the, with the, with the movement that he's performing, uh, and I see as well that he is with the, with the, with his fists uh, clinch as well, so he tells me that the ball is, is, is closer, uh, uh, is closer to him, so he's, he's almost about to to head the ball. Um, the play in, in 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 red and black, he gave me he gave me the 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 the, the position as well uh, for for the center. Yeah, great, thank you very much, uh, Nigel. 
I'll come to you. You're in, in, in the middle of this sort of main cluster, yeah. I would say. Uh, there's yours magnified. Um, what are your thoughts? Um, I mean, my colleagues have, have really said it all, or most of them have for me that, uh, you know, I think he's still, uh, given, given uh, his, his distance from the ball, he's still got a little way to rise. He is looking up. We can see the whites of his eyes underneath. Um, so we can see some white there. So we can, we can be uh, fairly optimistic. He's, he is looking up at an angle from his head. Um, and I think the uh, the red gives us a good cross reference. He's also looking uh, towards us and across and up. So you know, again, we got that good angle there. Yeah. So that's how I ended up in that place. Thank you. Uh, and then yours, Rene, here. You're you're magnified here. You're ever so slightly to the left of this uh, of Nigel's choice. There, I'll put the highlighter over yours. H have you seen this and, and and what was happening? Yeah. To be honest, I haven't got um, uh, masses to add. I just feel like just by the, the player's body position, uh, that the ball is probably travelling um, relatively quickly. Um, and obviously, he's still then got to just extend his neck and pull his arms back. So he's got a little bit of a way to rise. But um, I had my cross uh, where the ball was coming ever so slightly flatter, but obviously a very similar line to everybody else with the, the player in red's eyes. Yeah, I mean, you, you put it very eloquently again that, that he's got a bit to rise. So he's, his trajectory is up towards where we put our, our choices. So thanks for pointing that out. So um, looking at this, if I, if I put the magnifier over, as I said, we have um, a couple of us outside. And I think Alain's is far enough away um, to be removed. And I will then um, undo these two lines and then redraw them up from this player. So we've got quite a tight line up through here. And then we've got a slightly wider line here through Kieran's. Um, so if I put the, the magnifier here, you see that I'm ever so slightly out to the right and Kieran's out to the left. Um, if I remove Kieran's, the, the average there comes and encapsulates all the rest of the seven. Um, so what I would suggest we vote on um, I will go for a vote to remove Kieran's um, simply because I think from what I've listened to, um, including my own uh, thoughts on this, that the majority of us, and I would include Chloe in this, where she is up above on this section here, sees the trajectory of the ball as being slightly higher than Kieran's and Alain's. I've removed Chloe, obviously, because she's far enough away from, from the group to, to alter the, the average by quite substantially. Um, so that's what I'd like to do. So I will start off by obviously saying that uh, I believe that um, Kieran should be removed. Um, I'll come to you next, Nigel. Um, I also should point out, I think with this, uh, sorry, with Kieran's removed, we do get a split, a, a, a good split between three on the left, as obviously four on the, on the right as we're looking at the plane. But I think if you looked at it with the ball in front, it's, it's, it's a nice tight cluster. So, Nigel, um, hope everything was understood. If I could come to sure. you. Yeah, I would I would keep Kieran in because it's it actually moves it the cross away from where I think it is, from where my cross is. Yeah. Um, uh, it's, it's where the cross is now is really where I saw the centre of the ball. Um, but uh, I do understand the, the points you've made. And, uh, yeah, I can, I can see the rationale for the vote, absolutely. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, and, Chloe, I'll come to you. Um, I, I would remove Kieran. I think on just on the basis of what you were saying previously about it, 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 it the ball seemed to be dropping down from a, a slightly steeper angle. That was that was my thoughts. Yeah, thank you very much, uh, Ala. Yeah, I would keep uh, Kieran. Um, keep. I think you know when you look at the right eye of the player, uh, I think you know it could. Be uh, which player? Direction. Sorry, the uh, uh, player in, uh, in white. That that eye there. Yeah. 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 Okay. Thank you very much, uh, Rene. Um, yeah, I would actually remove Kieran, um, even though it takes the, the, the average cross away from mine. Um, I just can't see that the player is looking um, that low. Um, so I can't, I can't justify keeping Kieran's in. Okay, thank you. Uh, Matthew? Yeah, same point. I think the, the player in white's just looking too steeply, so I'd remove Kieran too. Great, thank you. Uh, Leo? Yeah, I, I would remove Kieran. I think the play in white is looking more steeply. Thank you. Uh, Hugh? Yeah, I'd remove, I think, partly I don't think he's looking that low, but also I think it's a better um, 
average as it covers a cluster of us, yeah. which is a uh, decent number. Thank you. And lastly, Ari. Uh, Seeing letter out of the remove as well. Okay. Okay, Gareth. Um, with uh, a good panel discussion vote, um, we've decided to judge at the calculated average with Kieran's removed from a panel vote. Uh, and I'd previously removed Alain and Chloe's um, as, as lead judge. Um, so that's the calculated average that we will vote with. Thank you. If you're all happy, then please click submit. Thank you, judges. The coordinates selected are 256735. These coordinates will now be passed to the auditing company, AZET, to calculate the winner of the competition, and they will then inform BOTB. That concludes the judging process. Thank you.